All right, what's up? Scott from Axel Overland. So today the job is to get this tire caddy onto the back of the Jeep. So the tire caddy basically from AEV uh, basically goes on behind the tire. So the tire sits here. 10.2 gallons of diesel in my case can go in there and then get farther down the road. So that's the point. So basically what we got to do is get the spare tire off and then disconnect the tire swing or the tire carrier from the tailgate so we can get behind it and get to what we need to get to. All right, let's go. So first up, we've got the locking lug. So get that off there. I hope this is gonna be long enough to reach. Good place for you. All right. All I have to do is get the ratchet out of the garage, but it's, it's so far away. Not really, but as long as I'm not scratching the wheel, I'm happy. Then we're good. All right, for the last one, I'm going to grab a ratchet. All right, Let's see how brave we can get. So now we got to disconnect here. Um, probably do this one. There's less spacers on it. Uh, so we can swing this out and get everything else done. So to disconnect the AV, we gotta take this cover off, find the wire in there, and disconnect it. See where they put it. Looks like it's right here. Yep. Alright, do that, cut this, take this through. safe so I watched some videos today but I also looked up the instructions online and had a look at them so I think I'm going the right way but it's time to make sure all right so first up after you get all that off disconnected the wire insert tire mount through center hole so we gotta get this tire mount off so let's do that so this should loosen it this bolt on top here just keeps it from rattling. And then bolt back. That's what holds it on. And it would be a bit loose. Because the tire is what keeps it out. So basically, this is the longest threaded bolt ever. That comes out. Putting this back on, uh, the same pattern, two up top, one on the bottom is what we had earlier. And you gotta remember with this AEV light, you gotta clock it, the, the spare tire, so that AEV tail light goes between the top two spokes. Same thing if you're doing a reversing cam or something like that, you normally want that through those top two spokes. But so we're gonna keep these up top just like it was, so we know it worked that way, and uh, should work again, let's see. All right, so, breaking into the hardware. We have a bracket in here. There's a fuel cap, which wouldn't be a bad idea to put on now. One thing I will do is just let make sure there's no plastic bits. 
inside. You may even go as far as trying to rinse it out with some fuel or something, but I think we'll be all right. So fuel cap, easy enough, goes on, goes in here, locks it in, lid on, ratchet, and then, all right, so as per the instructions, the AV light, which we do have, is gonna go on top of that, threaded through the middle. Make sure you thread over there, and then, We're gonna put this bracket on the back and bolt it too. So yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, so you see on here, there's a little recessed area here. That's for the wire. So you're gonna put the wire over the lug plate and then it'll go down behind it right there. So let's see how I can do fishing this in here. All right, so far, not too bad. And then, bam, just like that. And we'll put it on the tire carrier. Make sure that the wire's over top. That's it. Mount the tire and we're done. Just kidding. Don't do that. All right. So then we need 5 16th by 18 bolts as well as washers. So there's that. started and we'll tighten all these down all right so that's all three of those started the only one we got left is the big one so this one here goes in here and mounts to the actual the lug bracket and now we let that slide back and forth as it needs to and we'll tighten it all down in a bit so leave that all right all right so next up this bracket goes up top to secure it against the AV uh, tire carrier here. So first you gotta put this little protective grommet type thing in here, just so that way it doesn't rub metal on metal. All right, so there you go. That sits in here to protect against that bar up there. All right, so 3 16 tighten these down. So that's all down there. Next up we got this hose clamp basically that goes on the bar down here. So let's get her down. And the last one goes right under here. So it's gotta go around. So we can take us around and up to that. So as far as routing this wire, normally they tell you to put it through the vents, but um, when they installed my tire carrier with this light, they had it going through the tailgate itself. So I'm gonna do the same thing. It worked for them, it worked for me. All right, so I just caused myself a lot more work than I needed to. So when you put this wire through here, there's a bolt that goes through the top that tightens this down. But anyway, the bolt that goes down through here, the top of the nut, or the, the top of it, is in the channel of the wire run. So you have to make sure that wire goes around the bolt down the side. There's a little groove, it's kind of hard to see at first, but uh, I just happened to look down to see where this bolt was and notice the wire was running right across from it and the wire was under tension. I couldn't tighten it down because obviously the wire ran across the top of it, but also the wire was trapped in there. So loosen it all up and take it back out. Long story short, when you put that wire through the middle, make sure it's routed around that bolt and out of the way and it's got play. Uh, forward and back. So anyway, redo everything I've done and uh, I was literally just thinking, oh, this isn't a bad project. It's not taking long at all. So this is my fault. But anyway, it was anyway. But uh, so we'll get this all put back together and go on with the next steps. So I didn't adjust this tension point or turnbuckle, whatever you want to call it. I basically just put it back in, put the bolt through and tighten it down. So hopefully it'll be as easy as all that. 
this wire again just keep it out of the way for now we'll eventually put it we'll eventually make it permanent in here somewhere so bolt washer through the top a little bit more difficult now <laughs> that we've got everything in the way all right so now try to get the washer and everything else in here Might take a while. All right, so now I take his tire back off and then adjust that last bolt on top. All right. Pretty sure that's a five eighths. You'll grab that. All right, so like I said, this just puts a little tension on that this bracket out here, keep from going up and down. Definitely want to make sure you do that because 35 inch tires got some uh, some oomph to it. Now what? Okay. One thing you want to make sure of when you tighten this up that this is all the way out where you had it before. So push that bolt to push the tire carrier, the lugs out this way to get it back where the tire needs it to be. So now we should be good to put that back on. Make sure I got everything ready. Lug nut in the pocket. This here. Hopefully we're good. And this will be the last time. Actually, before I put the tire on, like I said, when they put my uh, tire carrier on, they ran the wire through here. So I'm gonna do the same. Even though uh, the instructions show you to run it through the vents behind here, but they already done this and it's in this grommet. So I think it'll be cleaner. All right, so obviously I can't go hit the brakes at the same time and come back and make sure this works. So I'll go hit the brakes, then I'll check the tape. All right, so now we're ready to heave that tire on here one more time, hopefully for the last time. Make sure I got everything, lug nuts, all that. All right. And 
yes, I do have a half inch ratchet, but I couldn't find extension, so that's why I'm on the 3 8 one. I'm gonna call that good. Last one. Yeah. Solid. So we got this little guy, which can go in right here and put that in there and route this, tie this in here. And that should be out of the way. I'm not going to cut this yet because I'm not 100% I'm going to leave it there so we'll just shove it behind it. Now all hooked back up now uh, we know the brake light works this is free that's on. Throw this back pop pop I think we're good alright so that's it uh, all mounted up, seam secure hopefully Check it when I get to work tomorrow, make sure it's all still tight. Um, one thing left to do is assemble this siphon hose. All right, so last thing. This thing is literally, you're not gonna be able to see this. Yeah, you maybe. It's got a marble in it. So that's how that goes. All right, it comes with that bronze piece there, a copper piece, a big nut, and as I'm guessing, half inch tube doesn't say I'm pretty sure it's half inch might not be I don't know but so the nut goes on here threads on slide hose through supplied 7 8 nut this will add weight and prevent something something dark side next insert siphon pump into siphon hose Okay, so let's thread past that. So that goes in. So. All right, so that goes in like that. And then you push the nut back down over or you can just unthread it like I'm doing. And that should help clamp it in there and this says add weight to keep the hose from curling when you put it inside there inside the fuel caddy that is he points to the fuel caddy off camera all right i don't think it's coming out ever so there you go so like i said the way it's supposed to work put this in in the fuel tank of the jeep Drop this in the uh, fuel caddy, once the lid's off obviously, full of diesel in my case, because this is a diesel Jeep, common rail diesel, CRD. <laughs> and then put this in there, give it a few up and downs, and then it should siphon the fuel out. Um, but we'll see, we'll try it out. But I think I'm gonna keep this bag, I like that. Let's kind of keep the dust and stuff out of here. And that's it this will go in the kit all right so we'll button all this up then show you what the uh, fuel caddy looks like on the tire carrier it took me less than two hours and that's working on my own um, but I could have done a lot quicker knowing how to route that wire better um, and just some other little things that I learned along the way so hopefully some of that stuff transfers this video and you see like I said that wire routed over the bolt that was a huge mis mistake. I had to take the whole tank back off basically and start again. I would save a lot of time not doing that. A second person would have been a lot easier lining up the tire and all that stuff. I just realized before I 
button this up that I hadn't tightened the uh, turnbuckle or the linkage between the tire swing and the tailgate. So I had to go back in there and get creative, and get in there and get it done. Um, if I would have tightened it up more when I first done it, the tire wouldn't have been on it. It saved me a lot of times. So I would think an hour and a half, I could have done this on my own. If I had to do it again, I'm guessing an hour and a half, I could have it all buttoned up. And if I had help, probably an hour. It's just not that big of a job, I don't think. Um, just And basic tools. You saw I was using a, a 3 8 ratchet because my half inch ratchet I can't find my extensions for so that's probably gonna happen tonight I'm gonna order some more I keep shaking because I want to make sure so obviously with this fuel caddy it's made for the AEV tire carrier so you have to have a tire carrier to do this um, I had the tire carrier installed by bus special vehicles and I said dude just throw the fuel caddy in the back of the Jeep I want to do it myself to make this video um, I'm glad I did. I uh, actually really enjoyed putting this on through the mistakes and stuff like that and getting it right. And now it's all in here. I'm happy. Uh, adjustability and stuff like that. The tire adjustment was kind of a pain. So yeah, I'm definitely happy I've done it on my own. Uh, it was just, it was fun. And it's just another one of those touches that you can do on your own. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't involve any modification at all. You just pop it on and you're good to go. So anyway, I'll wrap this up. Thank you all for stopping by. Uh, make sure you click like, subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell if you wanna get notified when new videos come out. But that's it, uh, we'll see you out there.